Hey guys, um, so I wanted to post a quick video about my experience uh, working for one of the worst companies I've ever worked for. Um, now, I worked there probably, I want to say, almost a year ago. Um, and that's when I worked for Anderson Merchandisers. Um, worst experience of my life. Uh, in the beginning, it was great. Uh, we merchandised music, movies, books, and uh, Walmart stores. And um, there wasn't too much stress on the job. Uh, we got all our work done. But then as time went on, the job got more and more stressful. And it got more and more tedious and harder and harder. And the pay really didn't equal the difficulty level that was rising. Um, we would have to merchandise music on new release days um, which would involve organizing the entire aisle alphabetically putting the new releases out, finding the new releases in the back room which was a problem and putting them out um, and making sure that was all set to mod and look nice and then we had to on Tuesdays worry about getting all the new books out which involved looking on a small screen at the mods and moving all the books to the right spots um, for the entire aisle which sometimes could be like maybe 16 feet to an entire aisle at Walmart. Um, which could be two sides of the aisle even. And um, that took two, two to three hours maybe. Because um, we'd get these giant boxes filled uh, from this company called Readerling. Filled with um, hundreds of books. And we'd have to merchandise them and put them all out. And make sure it's completely set correct. And then... We take all the old books off the wall, rip the covers off, throw them in the compactor, and then have to return other ones to um, the return the claims in the back, which always seemed to be pretty mad about that because we had tons of books that we'd have to give them. Um, it's pretty difficult to keep track of too when you're one guy in four super centers. Uh, that's a lot of work. So, so we did the music and we did the books. Um, we also did grocery. We'd have many different projects organizing and putting out different grocery items like cereals. Um, we had to do the chip aisle, moving and resetting the whole entire chip aisle. Um, we'd have to do resets on the front of the store where we would have to um, basically with the registers where they have all the candy and everything. Um, the side that has all the little knickknacks like chapsticks and all that, we'd have to go register to register reorganizing all that while customers are coming down the aisles um, we would always be told oh you'll have four or five people helping you and then it would turn out to only be us and then Walmart wouldn't be able to give us any people so we'd have to redo every register um, while these people are coming down the aisle which made it very difficult to do um, very time-consuming uh, like it would take a whole entire day eight hours and then we would still have other projects we had to get done by the end of the week we also did, um, I think, we also did the collectible aisle, which is usually right next to self-checkout, that which was like Pokemon cards and uh, the different little mini collectibles, and that would have to be done also. Um, and those were like anywhere from four feet to a whole aisle again, and we always had little kids running down the aisle while we were organizing it and setting it to mod that would rip it apart as we were doing it. We had to take pictures after, so after they did that, we'd have to redo it and then take the picture, which was fun. Um, we had to do gift cards, where we would, um, the big cubes in the store, where we'd have to move all the gift cards around so they're completely organized, and then we'd have to go down every check lane and organize those too, and if they caught one gift card, even at place, in one of the pictures on accident, We'd have to go back and reorganize all of them because people move them around a lot and then take pictures of that. So that was another fun project we always had to do. Um, I actually hear they just got video games from Acosta, which is another merchandising company. So they have to do all the video games now too, organizing the video game aisle and putting out the new release video games. Um, like a typical week for us would be on Monday, we'd go in and we'd do little tasks. Like, we had to do computers, too. Reset the computers, put all those out. 
on the display computers and uh, reset the tablets, which was a pain because we had to take all of them out, unscrew the special fixtures, and then put the new fixtures in and then put those in. That was always a pain. We never had the right fixtures or we're missing a piece here or there. We had to do cell phones too, all the cell phone displays. Um, can't think of something we didn't do. But anyway, a typical week would see us on Monday doing just any task we could get done, whether it be put a few books out or get a few computer surveys done. We had hundreds of surveys a week to get done. And um, after that, if there was a new release movie coming out for the next day, they might have us go Monday night before midnight to make sure the new movies are out, even though no one came to get the new movies ever. Um, and then we'd have to come in the next day, go to all our stores, which weren't close together. It could be a half hour to 40 minutes to an hour away from each other. Make sure all the new release movies are out. Then go back to each one of our stores to put out the books for two, three hours in each store. Um, then do collectibles for an hour or so. Organize all that. And then and those boxes were I, like 50 pounds and they were filled tiny little balls and different collectibles hundreds in those boxes so that was that was real fun um after that let's see yeah then we would just do that in three or four stores and that, that would be like 10 to 11 hours that day and then the rest of the week we would have to get everything done um survey wise we also worked with the medicine um on the medicine i think it was like pfizer and we'd have to get all that organized, make sure they were ordering the medicine for that. That was another thing. Um, toys, we had to reset end caps with um, new displays. That's just some of the stuff. Um, also, on Tuesday when there's a new movie, if it was a big name movie and they had a big display, we'd have to set up the display, which is the cardboard displays they had the movies in and everything. And sometimes, like Guardians of the Galaxy one, um, that took like two and a half hours just to set that display. And oops. And um, the stores, if like three stores had that, it would take like two hours in each store to set that up with doing the books and everything also. So that was, that was absolute torture. Um, and if you had a problem, forget it. You're going to get screamed at um, because you can't get everything done on time. Like I was having car problems and... They had us working Monday through Saturday, and they kept telling me, oh, take it, take your car in on your day off. Well, not many places are open on Sunday, so that was another issue, because you're always driving your car all the time everywhere, and, like, you're putting, I put probably, like, 50,000 or 60,000 miles in one year on my car, so that, that hurts a lot. Uh, let's see. <sighs> We had to work in Best Buys occasionally. That was fun. And sometimes we had worked at Targets. So that was real nice. The people there were all kind. Um, don't get me wrong. Walmart wasn't that bad. It's just some of the managers would expect you to do much more work than you were supposed to. And you're only one person. So you can only get so much done. And um, I had I had a part-timer that worked with me. Because I, I was a sales lead. And my part-timer... I guess she wasn't doing her job. But she would tell me she was doing her job and show me all the stuff she was doing. I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't suspect anything. Um, but then my boss would call me to go to that store and check on her. And then it turned out she wasn't putting collectibles out. She wasn't putting books out right and everything. So I'd have to spend hours doing that. Um, which, by the way, eventually I got fired because I wasn't able to keep up with my four giant super center stores because I had to keep doing all her work while she was still working and I could never just never catch up with it um so I was let go because of that because I wasn't keeping up with the work my part-timer wasn't doing so that was really nice um and that's when I was with the company for five years and was a loyal you know person working for them I hear I hear now if you join the company um they don't pay the same. Like I was, I ended up at like fifteen fifty an hour after five years, and um, now I think they start at ten or eleven dollars, and they don't give that many raises. And they um, they actually had to start a new position called flex associates, 
where they um, bring these people in when they have really big projects because it's just too much for one person to do, they figured out finally. And um, they, they're on call basically all the time whenever they have big projects. So they send them in, which I guess is good. They needed those when I was there, definitely. Um, but yeah, if you're full-time now, you work 40 to 80 hours there, I guess. Especially the new video games come in that they have to do. Um, part-timers, are, and you, you had benefits for full-time, so that was good. But part-timers, I guess, get no benefits. And they're told constantly, oh, you'll only work 20 hours, you only work 30 hours. But they come in and they're forced constantly, I'm told, to work 40 to 50 hours. So this is a part-timer that couldn't work full-time, and they're being forced to work full-time. And they're not given the same benefits that the full-timers are given. So they're basically getting paid less to work the same hours with no benefits. Um, I just, I, I can't get over it. I don't think that's right. I don't think they should do that. Um, that's misleading and using people. I mean, one other problem I had when I was there was um, if someone had deaf in a family or something, and I encountered this a few times, that where a girl I know had had someone that died or um, someone that was dying, and she asked, you know, if I get all my work done the rest of the week, um, can I can I go see this family member that's having problems? And I remember my boss going, um, no, get your work done first, then you can go see him. And that, that's just disgusting, especially since they say they're a family company. I mean, they, they should, if they're saying they're a family company, they should let you see family when they're in big trouble like that. Um, they just, you know, they shoot, take too much projects on, and then they get stuck when they can't handle all the projects. So they get stressed out, and uh, you definitely feel that stress on your shoulders. Uh, especially since you have Walmart managers getting mad at you for not doing projects that it says in their paperwork originally they were supposed to do but then they change it to oh Anderson will cover absolutely everything um it's just not right they, they shouldn't you know they shouldn't do that um I mean I know it's it's a job and a job's a job but when you have that that much stress and when they make you do overnights and then work early the next day, it's just, it's not safe, it's not, it's not good. Um, and they just, they actually took on the paint department too. Um, so all those little paint chips, they have their samples, they have to organize all those and order new ones of those too. I'm probably forgetting some projects, like, oh, they do fireworks too. So basically anything, and um, since Walmart decided a year ago or so, to kick out all the other vendor companies, they only had eight, five major companies. Um, a lot of that w extra work got pushed on Anderson also. So they have all the runoff from all the other companies that used to be there, uh, that no are longer there. And that, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see any reviews of this company on here, so I, I wanted to just put this out because I saw them in the store the other day and I was just so mad. I had to walk away because um, they just, they just don't treat employees like employees. They treat them like machines, and uh, that's just that's just really terrible. I, I would never go work for them again. Even if they offered, they won't. But um, yeah, and they're starting to take work from other companies too that need the hours, so their hours are going down too. It's just terrible guys. Um, but okay, uh, yeah, that's my review of Anderson Merchandisers. Um, there's probably more I'm forgetting, but um, if I remember, I'll update later. Okay, night guys.